Hey everyone, this is Jay from the Game Busters UK team and it is update time. So, with the end of our charity stream that we did starting from August the 13th. All I can say is it was a lot of fun, you know, I appreciate everyone who is involved. Yeah, uh, I'd love to do it next year. How I've been feeling recently, how I describe how I've been feeling. <laughs> yeah, that's so pretty good. So, um, just before I kind of talk about what this update's really going to be about. Um, I will just say uh, thank you so much for everyone, uh, all, like all the streamers, uh, everyone that donated, anyone who happened to spread the word or just joined in the stream um, for the charity event. It really did help a lot. Thank you so much. We raised a hundred pounds, which is half of what I was hoping we would get. But I even said, like, even if we get to hundred pounds, I would be happy. So, and we did it. Like. Honestly, thank you to everyone who, who was involved because um, without you, couldn't make it happen. So I really appreciate it. And like I said, it was a lot of fun. So uh, assuming I'm doing this next year, I'd love to do something like this again in the future. We'll have to think about it, but we've got plenty of time for that. And we don't know what the future brings. I don't know where I'm going to be next year or what's going to happen to me or, or whatever. But... I do know where I want to be and that's going to lead in to essentially what I'm going to be talking about very soon. So I'm going to be uploading the live streams up to, up to YouTube as soon as I can. My computer isn't the fastest in terms of rendering and considering the, stream, the streams were at least three to four hours, maybe even more, I have to separate them into a few parts. So you're probably going to get about three to four, maybe five parts of like maybe an hour long stream. Um, I believe I've already uploaded Ratchet and Clank Part 1, which is what I streamed. I was the person who started everything off, and that was the first game. And I'll probably upload the rest of the parts of Ratchet and Clank first before moving on to the next game. I don't know, we'll see. I might just, uh, you know, upload one part of one and then like another game afterwards and it just kind of intertwine. I'm not too sure yet. If you're not following me on Twitter, guys, I will be posting the highlights before I upload the videos, or at least uh, anything that was clipped, I will be posting on Twitter, so uh, under the hashtag PlaceNation. So if you're not on Twitter and you have Twitter and you want to check out these uh, um, these clips, basically the highlights, then uh, make sure to follow me uh, at GameBustersJ, because I will be posting them maybe one or two a day. So... Um, yeah, but you'll get context for those, for those who couldn't make it to our Twitch, Twitch event. It will be up on YouTube at some point, um, so you can watch the post upload then. Now, make me think that uh, I've been streaming a lot this week, obviously, and, you know, I've been streaming every day. Why have I been doing that? Well, one... I am trying something different. I'm trying to do Twitch more because Twitch can be a lot of fun, definitely. And considering how long I've been doing YouTube, it feels like our progress is just way too slow. It's just not working for us, you know? What might work for someone who's been doing similar stuff to what we do, which in case is Let's Play, you know, play through in games with our own commentary flair and you know, just, just basic stuff, basically what, I don't know, everybody's doing on the internet these days. It's like, you have to stand out. If you're going to be doing something that is so common now as Let's Plays, you have to stand out if you want to get anywhere. Or you have to, I don't know, play the, uh, the most popular thing that came out at the time. In this case, Fortnite. Until that eventually dies. Hopefully soon. So yeah, and it's kind of like those things where there's there's not that freedom anymore, if there ever was. Um, I feel like there was more freedom, more chance to really put yourself out there back in the old days of YouTube. You know, now it's all about YouTube analytics. What's like? It never used to be like this before. And watch time, like 
what am I just gonna get my watch and watch time like what like why is like this is all these different factors and stuff that you have to do and it's like oh if you have low watch time then it's not good and then obviously like you have like the whole uh, small YouTuber perch where you know if you didn't have like a thousand subscribers and enough watch time then uh, we're not gonna pay you any money anymore because you're not making enough money and uh, you know it was all about money and uh, the business you know the business side of things you know so YouTube basically was like okay look we're not making enough money by you have to work you have to figure out a way to become the next ninja or the next uh, PewDiePie or Markiplier or whatever, you're gonna have to figure it out. You're gonna have to bump yourself out somehow. But instead of actually, what I, my, my personal opinion, there's not enough support. And I've probably said this over and over again, but the point is, is that I've been doing this for eight years. It's not worked for us. Other people have been doing it for eight years and they are like sitting at fucking half a million subscribers say, maybe we're not you know, maybe we're not good enough for this, maybe we're not entertaining, maybe we should try something else, I don't know, there's lots of different things that I'd like to do, um, and one of the main things obviously, for a long time, is that I've been wanting to get the gang back together, like Take That, or Backstreet Boys, I guess, um, <laughs> wow, that dates me, kinda, but obviously, in our case is that we don't have the time and you know our lives are different now where you know we've got jobs and back in the day when we started doing this we were all like studying basically we were students we had a lot more time we weren't working we weren't working working as in jobs we were studying but we had time you know we're not sitting in my uh, loft slash attic anymore uh, drinking Red Bull and Red Rooster and any other shit you know while laughing and giggling uh, with a crappy desktop mic that I bought for 10 quid because I'm a student and so I was cheap as fuck didn't have any money hashtag you know first world problems and you know no one can ever get our jokes because the quality was so bad we still had a lot of fun but we didn't really care back then and unfortunately a lot of videos were like that and you know we played lots of old games back in the day and I know people said to me before you gotta play more modern games maybe that'll get you out there true never got that far unfortunately so that's the reason why I'm trying to do Twitch more is because I felt like Twitch was like here you go you have another opportunity to you know write the wrongs I guess or write the mistakes that either I made or whatever YouTube made or whatever you know basically didn't work out on YouTube maybe try Twitch and they seemed to have a bit more support and, you know obviously you had the, affili the affiliation program which is kind of like a kind of promote smaller YouTubers slash in this case smaller, smaller Twitch Twitch people if you can get that far which unfortunately we haven't but you know I'm experimenting with streams to kind of see how things go with that but the problem is I think I'm exhausted myself I'm doing this every single day and to get onto my second reason as to why I'm doing it is because I have the time to but really I would be working if I had a job. Now most of you know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, um, I am unemployed. But to those of you who don't know, yes, I have been unemployed. I won't get into the reason for it. Um, I've probably said it in a previous video before about my thoughts on my previous types of jobs I've done, but I've never really had a good job. Um, it's always been like grunt work for the lowest pay and you get treated like are just absolute bollocks really you just get treated like you are worthless you're expected to deal with it it's customer service work it's 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 like that you kind of you kind of expect it but um with someone myself um who has mental health um yeah it's not like i i can't like if someone's gonna be abusive to me whether it be verbally or physically i can't just stand there and take it and if they expect me to do then i'm walking out that door i just can't do that like i sometimes i just I, sometimes i just want to yeah! like i just want to scream beating that type of work i can't deal with that anymore so you know here i am and i'm trying to find a work that really isn't customer servicey you know i'm basically at that point right now where it's like okay i'm not doing much so i'll put more effort into my streaming i'll put more effort into to youtube and stuff you know i'll put more effort into my other channel my review channel in case you guys don't know i do like a review channel slash a little fun little project called reasons to play the channel's called reasons to play but i haven't really been doing much of 
that. There are a lot of things I want to do, there's a lot of things I should be doing, and that's kind of where I'm standing right now. So, I'm thinking of dropping some stream days for now. This is only saying I'm just giving up because no one's watching my streams or whatever. Um, you know, putting that aside, it's more of the fact that I really need to knuckle down and figure out what I'm going to do with myself, my life. Like, I need to find work, I need to find a career, I can't let my parents just fend for me, you know, my my, my mum's poorly, my dad trying his, trying his best to look after her, and technically me, who's a grown 26 year old man, who really, my opinion, I should be out in my own home by now, earning a living, you know, and that's what I should be doing, kind of like how my sister is like now married.